Hi everyone, welcome to another webisode of The Good Doctor on EasyLiving.com. Today I'm here with Dr. Lubna Al-Masiri from the Proficiency Healthcare Diagnostic and we're going to be talking about thalassemia. Stay tuned. So Dr. Lubna, the first question that I got to ask you and I think our audience would want to know is what is thalassemia and why should we be concerned with it? Actually thalassemia is one form of the inherited blood uh, disorders which uh, when in it, uh, acquired in its severest form the patient has to be on regular blood transfusion all the time to maintain uh, um, normal activity of life and this regular blood transfusion actually leads to more complications on the long run like uh, uh, iron overload, the position of iron in different tissues, which lead to maybe uh, uh, the development of diabetes uh, and uh, as well as uh, cardiac abnormalities and uh, like that. So these people are really short-lived. So just so I understand this, I have to be on a, a blood regular transfusion, transfusion yeah, like every three weeks. Every three weeks. Yeah, almost. Throughout the course of my life. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty intense because pretty much people have to live in a hospital. Yeah. Um, but what happens if I have thalassemia? What, what, what is it that I need to worry about? Uh, you need to worry at least about your quality of life, your shape, because uh, for in its severest form also it leads to bone deformities. The people has uh, uh, specific features like they call it mongoloid features. Mm -hmm. The cheekbones are really uh, prominent and the uh, nasal bridge becomes depressed, they have specific features. These people are, have stunted growth, they don't reach the normal average um, like uh, dimensions of the normal adult. They all the time they look pale, they have drawn this like red, yellowish discoloration here in the eyes. Uh, plus the quality of life, they have uh, easy fatigability, they cannot do the normal effort like regular mm. people. Uh, they develop complications on the long run. They have uh, enlargement in the liver and the spleen, and they have abdominal this huge abdominal distension because of this uh, enlargement of the spleen. So, how do you go about detecting thalassemia? Um, actually, you have to say first that to get uh, the thalassemia in its severest form, which is called thalassemia major, uh, both parents of the patient should be carriers of the abnormal gene or the defective gene. But so this is a genetic, genetic issue? Genetic disease, inherited disease. Okay. But if you have only one defective gene, you are called thalassemia carrier or trait. This person is really lucky because they don't suffer from anything. Maybe they have very mild degree of anemia and can be accidentally discovered. They have a normal lifespan. Everything goes normal with these people. Uh, so uh, thalassemia cannot be cured. The only curative treatment is uh, is stem cell transplantation, which is really expensive and really difficult to find a proper or a suitable donor. That's why they're now uh, going for core blood transplantation, the collecting stem cells from the core blood of the newborn, and they go for this kind of uh, stem cell transplantation, which is really expensive and no one can afford any. Not everyone can afford such a costly therapy. Sure. This is the only curative treatment, but for the rest, about what we said, this is only supportive care. Right. Just to maintain the, pe the patient living. So, if I understand this correctly, both mother and father need to have the gene. The defective gene. The, the defective gene. gene yeah. The abnormal gene. Yeah. And as a result, a child can be there born. There is 25% chance for a child to be affected. 50% chance to be carrier and 25% to be normal if both parents are carriers. Okay. And you described the uh, effects of thalassemia, yeah. the abnormalities and the defects. Um, and the only thing what can be done with people who have thalassemia is basically care. Supportive. Supportive care. What does this supportive care mean? It means that the, yani, it affects the quality of life of the parents as well. Mm -hmm. It's very costly. It's very uh, difficult to take to have like a really ill child all the time taking him to the hospital every three weeks at least. You have to spend like 
how many hours for taking blood transfusion, uh, expecting any complication to happen at any time. So uh, this is really difficult, the difficult quality of life for both parents and for the patient, of course. And what is the hospital, what is the role of the hospital or the health center, could it be? Monitoring of the patient and the development of the complications, applying the supportive care, doing the blood tests uh, on a regular basis to check if the patient is really on uh, having good hemoglobin level, he's really benefiting from the transfusion, to do a regular uh, test to detect if there is a development of complication like iron overload or diabetes or whatever like that. It's a complicated disease and it has multiple effects. It affects not only the person with thalassemia, but it also affects the family, their immediate yeah. family and their surrounding. Sure. So this is something that is of concern. If you've got any questions about thalassemia, please leave them in the comment section down below and Dr. Lubna will be happy to answer them. Thank you very much for being on this show. Thanks for watching The Good Doctor on easyliving.com where you can find anything and everything lifestyle.